What's going on everybody? This is Mort Power 35 here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys have had a powerful day today. And what I have for you guys today is another top five for our top five Thursdays here on the channel. I know I actually haven't done one of these in a couple of weeks, and I do apologize for that. I've just been really addicted to gun game and infinite warfare, and I've been wanting to do that on Thursdays here on the channel. And uh so top fives are kind of taking a little bit of a little bit of a backseat but we are going to do these at least two or three times a month um just to have some wider variety on the channel and uh i wanted to let you guys know of something that i've uh some news that i've gotten um i'm partnering now with a company called gamerborn they're a customized gaming clothing company out of the uk and um what they've done is they've hooked me up with a 10 percent off code for me to give for, not only for myself, but for you guys. And uh, I'm really proud to announce that if you use the code Morton Power, you will get 10% off on any of their uh, products. So uh, definitely go check that out. Uh, I'll leave a link to their website, Twitter, all that in the description. Um, so let's go ahead and get into our top five. This top five, guys, today is going to be top five weapons that I feel like should be classic weapon DLCs for Infinite Warfare. Now, in Black Ops 3, we got regularly got DLC weapon drops. Um, in the game which brought some older weapons into the game some newer weapons But I feel like now that they've instituted classic weapons into infinite warfare I feel like we need more than just five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the five uh, Weapons from infinite war or from cod for rather um, That I feel like should be in infinite warfare now this isn't going to be just like the best guns in COD 4. This is going to be a multitude of different reasons. And I'll let you go th let you guys know those reasons once we get into it. But coming in at number five is you're you're probably not going to expect this one, but it is the Scorpion. This gun is the most fun submachine gun to use in the game. And whenever I feel like you know flipping the script, doing something different than just using my uh, M16 or my M4 or my MP5. I'll switch up and I'll use the Scorpion. This gun is, it's a high fire rate, low damage, low range uh, submachine gun that can hose people in close quarters combat. And there are a lot of maps that you could use this on. And I feel like it would be uh, just a fun thing for Infinity War to throw into Infinite Warfare just to, you know, spice the game up a little bit. Even because it's a little, little draggy right now. It's just something to spice the game up. And you can hose people at the short range and, you know, take people on instead of having the low, uh, the low, the slower fire rate weapons. This will hose them rather quickly. Coming in at number four is going to be the Deagle or the Desert Eagle. Excuse me, this pistol is by far the best pistol in Call of Duty history. And I feel like this should be in, in Infinite Warfare because the pistol class in Infinite Warfare is atrocious. There, I don't think there are any good workable pistols in the game. And I feel like the Deagle would be a great addition to well round out the, the pistol class because it has great range great damage and you can spray and pray with this thing like whenever i'm playing search and destroy with gbs or anything where i you know i need a secondary i'm just spraying people with the deagle even though and my aim is atrocious so the deagle has been been a great addition to my class setups in cod 4 coming in at number three and every time that that I, um, I've i recorded this video, because I've actually recorded the audio for this video three times. Uh, I want to keep calling this gun an assault rifle, but it is an SMG. The reason why I keep wanting to call it an assault rifle is because it is a hybrid weapon, in my opinion. And that is the AK-74U. This gun is a, a hybrid weapon. It can it can be a really, well, really great submachine gun at submachine gun ranges. Um, it has great damage, great range, and it has, if you can contain it, it has manageable recoil. And then also, if you're trying to pick people off at a slightly longer ranges from medium, you can you can do that as well, but you'd have to control the recoil a little bit more. And I feel like in Infinite Warfare with a foregrip, even though foregrip needs a buff in Infinite Warfare, um, that, that would help out a lot. Coming in at number two is by far the best SMG in infinite or in cod 4 i keep getting mixed up in cod 4 
is the MP5. This gun, I uh, I just did a cage match uh, episode with this on uh, yesterday, and I was, you know, this is my go-to SMG when I need something that I know I can use, know I can um, take people out with. I always go with the MP5, and I feel like that would, you know, help out in the submachine gun class. Um, I know we got a P90-esque gun in the submachine gun class, but I feel like the MP5 would be a great addition to the, uh, the submachine gun class. And last, but certainly not least, coming in at the number one spot is the most overpowered weapon in COD 4 that I've ever seen in my life, and that is the M16. This gun is a beast. You can one burst people from just about any range with this weapon. And if you throw a stopping power on it, which I know we don't really have we don't have an infinite warfare, but you do have the the uh, attachments that allow you to have higher damage ranges or higher ranges in general. And you can you could probably burst people at an one burst people at an infinite range. But this gun is well rounded. You can um, you can pick people off at mid to long ranges. It even works in the uh, in the uh, in the short range. But the only problem I have with the M series weapons is the uh, is the um, the eight the sights iron sights. Sorry guys, I'm tripping up on my words here. The iron sights um, they're not that great. They're a bit blocky. But throw a red dot on there. Throw a elo on there if you have it in infinite warfare, and you have a manageable weapon that you can hose people with and every time I play a GB match somebody has an M16 paired with a Deagle um, but that's actually gonna do it for the top five guys let me know in the comment section what you think uh, five weapons that you think should be in infinite warfare um, no matter what development studio made them with Treyarch sledgehammer or Infinity Ward or Raven, even though I don't, they haven't made any guns in Call of Duty history. But let me got, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate everybody's support. Um, and guys, I'll see you guys on the next video.